Good morning, everyone. This is Michael Malley here with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion for September 2nd, 2022, around 1140 a.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about today, including a new storm alert out there. We got a new hurricane that has formed and the potential for 91L to get interesting. So let's go and jump straight into everything. Digging a weather across the tropical Atlantic this morning, we noticed that, first of all, starting from left to right, we have Invest Area 91L trying to become better organized today, but is still failing to do so. So be moving northwest over the next several days and could get quite interesting for portions of the Bahamas. And then we also have newly designated Hurricane Danielle over here in the subtropical Atlantic. Take a look at all this here in the graphical tropical weather outlook. Again, we have two other additional disturbances to monitor. Again, Invest 91L and Invest Area 94L with 94L only having a 10% chance of developing. And then here's Hurricane Danielle sitting up here in the subtropics, 75 miles per hour. Could be even a little bit stronger than that. Take a look here at the statistics. Again, 64 knots or 75 miles per hour pressure, 992 millibars, moving west at one mile per hour. Located at 37.9, 43.3 west. And this is a Category 1 hurricane. Take a look here at the visible satellite imagery. This is for Invest Area 91L down here in the deep tropics. Now, uh, today we do have a little bit more in the way of shower and thunderstorm activity associated with this. However, it is not really well organized. And you can actually see here that there is just no visible surface circulation at all. And in fact, the mid-level circulation is actually racing ahead of all of this thunderstorm activity. And that's not really going to be helpful for the storm environment because if this is just out racing all the thunderstorm activity, well, you're not really going to get much to organize. And uh, this is likely going to remain the case for the next several days here. If you take a look at the H4 forecast, it's the upper level wind environment here. This is the 060 run valve for 11 a.m. this morning. We notice that our storm environment right now is getting carved out by this big tropical upper tropospheric trough up here to the north. And that is still inducing a little bit of vertical shear over top of our system and not really allowing for much in the way of significant organization. We actually look at the moisture field as well. It's pretty evident that there's still some very dry air around at this point. Although we've seen moist pockets try to develop from time to time, it consistently gets undercut by all of this dry air. And so this is not really going to allow for much in the way of significant intensification for the next several days. Now, if we switch around here and continue forward, eventually here on the H4 forecast, the solution changes here. And in fact, the solution would go to suggest more robust intensification sometime by Sunday morning because the upper level pattern is becoming increasingly favorable for development. Now here on this particular run of the GFS, the 060 run of the GFS also concurs with the h wharf that that is a similar solution. However, I think these are starting to become outliers because we've seen the trend for consistent uh, slow development and uh, the GFS forecast is rather robust and rather quickly with its strengthening developing it from a weak uh, low pressure system into a bona fide hurricane uh, within the better part of about two days. And while this isn't necessarily something that is improbable, it is seemingly a little bit less likely than what uh, some of the guidance has suggested over the past several days. And if we actually look here at the European forecast here, this is a vastly different solution the 0Z run of the Europeans, so last evening's run here, continues with a weak, disorganized system. And because it's so weak, it just continues to drift westward with the low-level flow here and ends up very close to the Bahamas within the next couple of days. And in fact, here by day five, uh, this is actually sitting just about 100 or so miles to the northeast of the Turks and Caicos in the Bahamas at this point and is trying to become better organized but can't really do so. Now if we take a look at why that is, we'll look at the upper level wind environment. We notice that again there's another tropical upper tropospheric trough cutting in right here behind uh, Danielle and this is not really allowing for much in the way of intensification. It's going to create a lot of shear down here across this area uh, over about 30 to 40 knots of shear, not really allowing for a system to organize and eventually uh, the pattern does become more favorable sometime by Thursday here, according uh, to the European, the pattern does become a tad bit more favorable. 
And if we could get a storm to align underneath this upper level low right here, we might actually have uh, some additional intensification that is certainly possible. So we'll have to see how that kind of pans out. The latest uh, European ensemble forecast here uh, out to about day five has two vastly different solutions. Uh, the first solution, which is at least still on the table, would be the possibility for a stronger system and on the northern cluster here, on the, on the northern side here, turning away and away from land at this particular point. But if we move forward, there's definitely a cluster that likes to keep this hanging around down here somewhere near the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos within five to seven days. And that is certainly a very real possibility. So again, for right now, there's nothing to worry about, but still, if you live in the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas, it is certainly worth monitoring the progress of this system as we could be talking about something still within the next couple of days, about a week from now. So we'll have to continue to monitor the progress of this system and continue to check back for forecasts every single day as this is a constantly evolving environment. Now, focusing here on Hurricane Danielle again right now, uh, the storm has certainly organized over the past 12 to 24 hours. We noticed that today we have deep organized convection rotating around our uh, low pressure right here. And at times we've seen this try to develop a ragged eye appearance. And you can see this little depression in the clouds right here. This is the eye structure trying to pop out, but we noticed that we have some mid-level dry air that's been in training on our storm all day. We also notice that the outflow is pretty restricted up here to the north and it's not really allowed to continue um, going north and expanding and this is because there is some mid-level shear that's impacting our system right now and that will likely to be remain the case for the next several days either way though uh, there is steady intensification that is forecasted and this is expected to become a category two hurricane sometime uh, on Sunday as this progresses through Sunday into Monday. This will become about a 100 mile per hour hurricane here. So category two could be a little bit higher than that. Uh, the current forecast does call for this to reach a peak of 100 miles per hour within the next 48 hours and then move its way towards the northeast here and should stay far enough away from the Azor Islands at this point. Uh, but let's continue to monitor that. Right now, the European ensembles continue to show a vastly significant spread here. Uh, of potential locations. We could have a storm trying to slingshot pretty close to Europe, or we could be dealing with a, a storm that is much further towards the northwest than that and away from the Azor Islands. That is certainly remains a possibility. And of course, then we'll be still probably talking about uh, 91L within the next couple of days. So we have a lot to talk about here and a lot to kind of go forward with over the next several days. All right. So that being said, I do hope you have a great rest of your afternoon and evening. Of course, I am Mike Romali. I'll be talking to you guys again some more tomorrow.